reading for the month of September for the Taurus Virgo and Tauruses. <laughs> I'm always saying Tauruses, okay? So, um, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's check out and see what's coming in um, for you, um, Tauruses. Okay, this month of September is the month of the star. The energy of the star always come in September, and that is really wonderful and really good because what is transpiring and what is happening is that with the energy of the star, um, the situation that is coming in is very, very positive. So, um, this month of September is a wonderful month. Um, try and understand the energies that is coming in. So, we're calling upon the angels and God for the Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sun to show us the energy that is happening. So we have the Empress. This is really wonderful. This is positive. So for you Tauruses in the first week, it's all about your financial stability. This is going to be good. It's all about nurturing with financial stability. It is an earth energy, so it's going to be wonderful. Expect the unexpected when it comes on to your financial stability. Materialistic wealth is coming in in the first week, so enjoy what is coming in. In the second week, there is some... Um, unexpected news is going to be coming in this is going to be wonderful it's going to be positive whatever this unexpected information that is coming in is going to be good because it has to do with your materialistic stability then we have the second the third week for you Tauruses we have the week where um, there is the energy of uh, um, finding inner strength you could be dealing with a Leo or a Sagittarius so you're trying to find inner strength to deal with certain aspect and certain situations so um, it's a fire week so we have hurt water and fire the fourth week because we have four weeks uh, there is a transition there could be a situation with a scorpion or a cancer so there is a transition that is definitely coming in so as we look we have two, two energies of water whatever is transpiring and whatever is happening we definitely your first week is going to be one of the best week okay so there is um, like ups, um, upsetting things um, that will happen I'm seeing a transition that is coming at the end of this week but not to worry about it because the problem is that there is just changes it is a month where a lot of changes are happening okay so wonderful um, energy vibrations so um, the judgment call that is going to be coming in these are breakthroughs and it's breakthroughs that has to do with the um, Pluto Pluto is the energy of the scorpion so you could have a situation with Scorpio because Pluto is the energy that governs the scorpion okay so be aware of that and whatever the issue is we are going to be looking to see so it is a, a situation with your financial stability um, there is going to be unexpected messages that is going to be coming in so whatever is transpiring you just have to understand that life has changes but um, it could be positive while it could be negative and we're going to be looking to see what exactly is going to be transpiring for you Tauruses definitely a transition is coming in if you have we're having um, hardship there is definitely a transition that is coming in so let's look and see what's happening uh, to um, the energy of uh, your um, materialistic world okay or the energy of uh, nurturing okay so your wishes and dreams are going to be coming true so congratulations to each and every person out there your wishes and dream definitely it's going to be coming true so um, expect the unexpected but it's going to be extremely extremely positive so the nine of cups is here and this is really wonderful the energy of the nine of cups some of you unexpectedly something that you were open and wishing for is definitely going to be coming in some of you it is monetary some of you is materialistic stability and uh, I am seeing also in the second week going in the third week there is going to be connection of uh, people want to collaborate with you and this is going to be very wonderful and very positive so this is good because the unexpected news that is coming in is that people wants to collaborate with you people wants to work with you and this is going to be good now the ten of swords is here and that is what you're having in the third week going in the fourth week. So we're going to be seeing who stab you in the back and whatever is transpiring so what I'm seeing here is definitely that your wishes and dreams are going to be coming in about um, working together but there is a deceptiveness that is happening
okay in the second week the judgment call is going to be the six of Pentacles some help is going to be coming in for you Tauruses this is wonderful this is positive obviously there is unexpected money and unexpected help that is going to be coming in something unexpected but very wonderful and very positive so the two first weeks are definitely looking good for you Tauruses so whatever is transpiring the two for a week is good because I'm seeing connection alignment that is going to be coming in now some of you you are going to be receiving help from um, a Pisces cancer or scorpion this person is between the ages of uh, uh, 18 and 45 whoever this person is this person some of you are going to find inner strength to deal with this person because this person could have stabbed you in the back in uh, or is going to stab you in the back so whoever this person is it is a scorpion that you're dealing with you and this scorpion have stabbed you in the back okay so um, be aware that if you're dealing with a scorpion um, in the last week the scorpion or cancer it could be a scorpion but it also could be a cancer or a Pisces that but it has the energy of Pluto so stabbing in the back is more coming up from a scorpion then we have the energy of the five of Pentacles whatever um, hardship you were having with your financial situation it is now in the reverse and this is good so you are protecting um, yourself and uh, um, there are going to be new people that is coming in so the second week and the third week is a, is a little bit off in the sense that, but it is a good because people wants to come in and work together with you there's definitely help that is coming in the third week there is something that is going to be coming in where people are going to be saying to you uh, let's work in alignment and they're going to be helping you whatever is transpiring I'm seeing the energy of debt that is here so definitely um, a scorpion or a cancer could stay you in your back and this is definitely going to be happening in the last week it's not such a favor of a thing but let's see materialistic stability money um, unexpected gifts is going to be coming in in the first week second week you are going to be surprised by a Pisces cancer or scorpion who wants to collaborate with you as we look at the third week the third week someone is going to stab you in your back you're go we're going to be finding out who is that and also go pick up the on-demand reading the link is below it's a dollar 99 it's 45 minutes of extra information sometimes it goes to an hour depends on how many information is there you will know exactly who is this person that is going to stab you in the back transition is here in the fourth week now as we are looking at the energy it's going to be fast paced so if you have a business expect that your business is going to pick up unexpectedly in the first week unexpectedly this is just going to be um, fastness speed unexpected orders um, that sort of a thing that is going to be coming in unexpected orders and expected information is going to be coming in some of you it's all about the business your business is going to be um, getting better because um, this energy is coming in and it's very unexpected your burdens are definitely going to be over so if you were carrying some burdensome issues this is definitely going to be over in the second week going in the third week and this is going to be happening because people are going to be coming in I want to collaborate with you and this is going to release your burden in the second week going in the third week and the third week going in the fourth week you're going to be finding out something about a scorpion a Pisces or a cancer this person but the energy this person have done something very deceptive whatever this person has done is going to be coming out okay because in the last week is I princess and this scorpion or cancer person had some secret and they have done something deceptive that as um, throw you off guard and you're going to be finding this out in the last week as we look at what unexpected came in is an unexpected situation with a family member that is going to be coming in and helping you out this is going to be wonderful um, if there was issues with family unexpectedly um, news is going to be coming in and this is going to be resolved I'm seeing family coming in to help you and to resolve issues and situation and this is going to be good so whatever the situation the issue is whatever that was happening whatever that is transpiring we are seeing that there is um, people who were carrying burdens family issues burdens in the family this is going to definitely be resolved some of you are going to be finding out that a young person that is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius again um, with uh, that is um, 
working together with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion I've tried to stab you in your back and deceive you of something but what is happening and what is transpiring is that they're going to be found out they are going to be found out so whoever these people are they could be coming up as kids for you guys it depends um, they could be coming up as kids for you guys it is a family member for some of you so some of you are dealing with an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius they could um, um, together with their partner who is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion could do something to affect you if it's not a family member and these are people who are friends outside influence and whatever they have tried they're going to be caught and they're going to be dealt with very very hard so some um, fast-paced news is coming in your burdens is definitely going to be over but definitely there's a deceptive move um, that someone who's a Pisces cancer or a scorpion has done you can expect this and they have done it with uh, um, an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius but this is definitely going to be coming out so it is good for you guys to pick up the extended reading the link is below because what that is going to do is going to tell you exactly who these people are how are they connected to you because uh, um, the the aquarium the the Aries the young person between the age of 18 and 45 these are two young persons between the age of 18 and 45 they are working in alignments together and the the um, young lady is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius and she is a family member okay but it's as if she used her boyfriend or someone to do something but whatever the issue is and whatever the situ is the situation is is that you are going to be helped by another um, person that is a Pisces cancer or scorpion and they are going to be helping you to get you out of uh, an hard uh, uh, um, a deceptive situation that as a car it is really really um, a sad issue and a sad situation because what I'm seeing here is that some of you are dealing with a child who is uh, um, between the age of 18 and 45 and this child is very deceiving and deceptive okay so you gotta be opening up your eyes to what is going on okay this child could be working against their sibling is if they have a Pisces cancer or a scorpion this child really needs help because this child is a little bit off so whoever this Aries Leo or Sagittarius is they're a little bit off but whatever is transpiring they are definitely going to be getting themselves in some serious serious trouble these two um, young people are, are, are creating things that they're going to be having some major, major trouble in the future. And they're getting themselves in so much of a huge problem that is going to create because they're, they think that they're creating the situation for you. But what is going to be transparent is that they created the situation for themselves and they are, they could be seen jail time or they could be slapped on the wrist. Okay. They could be seen jail time or they could be slapped on the wrist for what they have done. They try, some of them try to um, take your financial wealth and they're going to be caught because whatever they did, someone is going to slap them on their wrist because someone is going to find out what they did and they're going to be like tracing these two, how these two get to do whatever they did. And they're going to be tracing it and by tracing it there um, people are going to be realizing what they have done some very deceptive move what they have done whatever is transpiring your burden is going to be over with a family issue and you are going to be cutting yourself off you could be cutting off a child that is an Aquarius Gemini or Libra because you realize that this child is very destructive it could be a child it could be a girlfriend it could be a friend Whoever this person is, whether it's a, a female or a male between the age of 18 and 45, you're, they're very destructive and uh, you are going to bring an end to this. Okay. So it's all about working together. It's all about networking this month. It's all about working together and networking. And it's just going to be very good because it's going to bring you a lot of success. Now we have the well watcher. The well watcher has to do with wisdom power of the power of the divine okay number seven wisdom and the power of divine 
So what is going to be happening and what is going to be transpire, transpiring is that the wisdom and the power of the divine is going to be coming in and really helping you out of a situation and letting you see something that has transpired and something that has happened. Number six energy is really good because whenever you choose the energy of number six, what it really does is that number six has the energy vibration as it holds you and protect you it holds you and protect you it is a very positive energy because what transpire is that because it protects you it is the time where the universe is going to be stepping in whatever has happened whatever has transpired the universe is definitely going to be stepping in and it's going to be helping you out of a situation whoever has work against you is definitely going to be thrown under the bus because the universe is as if the universe is saying, you know, to hell with this, uh, this is definitely going to be ending. So use this wishing well to make a wish. If you are having issues and situation with other people, use the wishing well to make a wish because as you do that, the wishing and well is definitely going to help you. You have the number six. So in this month it's all about harmony, appreciating self sacrifice loyalty and responsibility so this is going to be very wonderful and very positive so whatever the situation is whatever that is playing the universe is going to be stepping in and helping you out so this is um, really really wonderful okay the angels of Atlantis comes up with Archangel Raziel Archangel Raziel seems to be working with a lot of people in this month intuition is here listen to your intuition whatever the issue is whatever the situation is call up an archangel raziel and ask archangel raziel to touch open and align and awaken your intuition um, um, and clear whatever despondency that is there and help you to listen to your own intuition and heal whatever the issue is and the situation is because obviously a healing is going to be coming in and it's all about your intuition so if you are dealing with these Pisces cancer or scorpion these young people whatever the, the, the situation is whatever that is transpiring they are definitely going to be caught whatever they have done um, these two people are going to be caught because they have been watched the master of love number seven is here so this is a very good twice seven so you guys have six and seven to work with seven is always that you are on the spiritual part please check out the extended reading because there is a lot of information that is there for you guys in the extended reading now this is movement a lot of movement is going to be happening especially in relationship I'm seeing healing I'm seeing people connecting um, unexpected um, relationship new love could be coming in when movement comes up this is a very positive energy of alignment and with the number six and seven it's all about spirituality in and, and awareness the mastering of wisdom so um, an insight and success so success especially um, success ex um, especially success uh, um, expect success to be coming out for you so this is this is extremely wonderful because you have twice seven seven is always that you are on the right part at, at, at three times seven three times seven so whatever is happening you guys have three times seven it's a month where um, it's as if the universe is saying yes you're on the right part yes it is um, seven of autumn is the seven of pentacles so in business your business is going to be very 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 successful okay so in business success is going to be coming up the seven of autumn it says have patient and don't worry just have patient and don't worry take time to rest and plan your next step okay um, prudent investment of time or money okay so this is really really wonderful the seven so three times seven they want you to plan your way forward um, you're on the right track but they want you to plan your way forward they want you to take the time to understand where you are what is happening for you and with the energy of the seven of um, um, seven of um, autumn the seven of autumn is uh, when you sit to plan um, for the next winter season that is coming up okay so you're in autumn and then you're going to be going to winter so the seven is all about money 
and this is how, what is going to be happening expect success um, in your life and expect success in um, business and in your life unexpected surprises is going to be coming in for you and a success is there so unexpected expect some unexpected surprises coming in um, just have patience and don't worry unexpected surprises are going to be coming in okay I want to say thank you and have a wonderful wonderful uh, month namaste to the folk in it till the next time